Wigan, uh, 1812 winners over Salford. Um, Legend Salford, mm. really good. Just came up short in big game, maybe a bit of big game experience, Tall from Wigan. Well, we, we were always questioning that, weren't we? Uh, to be honest with you from there. But I'll tell you what, Salford didn't look as though they haven't played the semi final football before. They looked as though they've been part of it for the last six, seven years. How they embraced that, how they played, how they got ripped into Wigan. And, uh, and totally agree, yeah, after the game, what Ian Watson said, at times they just wasn't smart enough at the important times of the game. And also, too, that is called experience. So now they've got that ace experience from there. But I'll tell you what, Wigan knew they was in, in with a game. It was, it was only the Wigan's DNA, knowing what the experience is all about, the scrambling defence, which kept Salford out. So Salford were fantastic, didn't have the experience, wasn't smart enough at important times. But I'll tell you what, they were excellent. And Wolfie for sure, I'm so much looking forward to that game against Casper on Thursday night. Quality play from Salford. Wigan, we know what we're going to get from Wigan this time of the season. Business end, quality players, experience, know what to do at vital times in the game. Yeah, they're happy enough. 18-12, uh, they'll be happy with that in the match on the St. Helens. Mm. One of the games of the season. Mm. Yeah, I, thought I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting it for Wigan <coughs> because we, I like the top five. I think it's by far the best format we've got. There's a flaw in it, which we'll come to later, which is one of the reasons I think why it affects attendances. But the game that you would think wouldn't have as much riding on it is the game where both teams get a second chance. Not at all. This was full-blooded from minute one. And, and if you were a neutral, I think, just a wonderful 80-minute watch. Uh, just sit back and enjoy two teams throwing everything at each other. I think there were a couple of things that struck me. Salford had to score in that opening 20 minutes. We said, I think, last week that if they were going to win and if they were going to trouble Wigan, they had to get ahead. And if they got ahead, they're so unpredictable that that could have troubled Wigan. Um, and they played really well in that opening 20 minutes, but they couldn't find any points. And there were just a couple of occasions, like the the Inu offload, which you just can't do in playoff football. <coughs> yeah. That became a 12-point turnaround. So nearly had Seo gone in in the corner, and then they look up after that set of six, and, and they've conceded six points. So it's little things like that that turn it. The two other things, one... You mentioned scrambling defence. The last 10 minutes, Wigan were absolutely mm. sensational. Because yeah. Salford, I think, decided we may as well get the kitchen sink out because we've got nothing to lose. And there wasn't a blade of that grass that Wigan didn't somehow cover. Uh, and if one guy wasn't going to get there, somebody was going to. Under somebody attack. Won, somebody won the t shirt already. Yeah, under attack. Move on, Lee. We'll leave it there. Sorry. Um, so, but the other thing was the performance of Morgan Smithies. Yes, and I know a lot. Seventy-two tackles. A lot, yeah, I know a lot's been made about how are these things calculated. That's a season's worth. You know, yeah, that's a career. How many two? Seventy-two Brought tackles the in on. sixty-two minutes. I didn't make seventy-two tackles inside my school. That seventy-two tackles in again. Seventy-two tackles, and it wasn't the whole game. He was off for eighteen minutes. But the thing, however you measure <coughs> a tackle, and I get that, you know, sometimes we need to be very positive about certain stories, and we should just celebrate this for what it is. <coughs> Um, and some people go, you can't count third man in. And however it's calculated, it's the same for everybody. He did 72 tackles. That is astonishing. Mm. Now, if, I think if we're serious about social media and what the sport should be doing to promote stars, which is something that Robert Elston said was going to be top of his priority. Robert Elston said a lot of things, I'm armed. We had to flood, we being the game, not just us. I mean, we, you know, I, I put something out because I was just in awe of that. But... The, the actual Betfred Super League official social media, from the minute that game finished and that stat became available, she's just been going, you want to know who this guy is, you want to see what this bloke's just done, here's a clip of five of his top tackles, and mm -hmm. we should have remorselessly, rugby union at the moment, and I'm not comparing like with like, but one of the criteria they're using to judge teams in the World Cup is, oh, England made 70 tackles in 80 minutes. Morgan Smith is beating them <laughs> on his own. We have to be cleverer about how we promote. That is just the most astonishing thing. It is. It is. What do you make of the game, Rich? It was exciting from what I heard on the radio. I saw the first half and I had to go out. But uh, what battle from Salford. And the I guess the biggest people come out with credit are the Salford fans who made plenty of mm. rackets. No idiots either. No, uh, no flares this week, which rubbish. Was good. Great support. You have plenty to. of uh, noise. I, I understand uh, a certain... 2020 magazine columnist actually paid to stand with her <coughs> Salford brethren, no. whatever the female equivalent of brethren is. Sisterhood. Um, sisterhood. Um, so, hooray for Salford. I can't wait for Thursday night. It's going to be a cracking atmosphere, isn't it? 
Because Castleford, <coughs> for all those buses, for all their fans to go over on the Thursday night at the M62. Up to 900 already. I like it. Good. Yeah, yeah good. Well so done. they'll pack out that stand and Salford will be there making plenty of noise. I guess this is the thing with the tenders, isn't it? We know for this game there's going to be plenty of interest because we know it is do or die. And so one season's going to come to an end. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. And Salford, they ran them yeah. close, didn't they? Yeah. Ran them close and that's... That bodes well for a potential meeting again in a couple of the, weeks. The yeah. issue for Salford is Will Jackson Hastings before we fit. I'm sure he'll play, but clearly he posted some social media after the game with a patch over his eye and they need to go and see a specialist. Now, I don't know if that's all part of, again, mind games. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. I don't know. I, he's come I am, out, in fairness to Hastings, he's come out and said, oh, no, you know, no malice at all. I, I am surprised at the try that he scored, which which if you're a Wigan fan, you must have been there going, don't want to cheer this, but he's going to be playing for us next year. Yeah, yeah. I thought he did take one across the head from Club, from Tony Club, who came in a bit late. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised that that hasn't been referred to the discipline. That'll be great training. <laughs> hey, Jackson, I'm Tony, I'm the guy who smacked you on the head and put you in the eye last time I saw you. How you didn't, you didn't right? see me, because <coughs> I put you in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Lewis is also that when he gets a Wigan player, don't worry about that. Um, he scored a try that got them back in it. I mean, he's going to win the Man of Steel, isn't he? Yes. Got to do, hasn't it? Yeah. I don't see another candidate. <coughs> yeah, he's him or Watts, I think, for me. The only two. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he'd, be, he'd be in the top three, one it, to be honest with you, from there. But uh, I think that with, with, with the, all, all the five, well, I think you'd say play Costa, to be honest with you, wouldn't you? But when you talk about that, you talk about how well Watts is playing, he's got to be a shilling, hasn't he, for Great Britain? We'll talk about Cassie's performance, you know, at uh, Warrington, uh, I guess, later on. but. Yeah, Jackson Hastings. Uh, he nearly won the game by himself, didn't he? At times, you know, his organisation, his creativity, and what, what? Again, when, when I talk about halfbacks, what I like about him is, and he makes me laugh when they say, "Oh, well, he's playing with his eyes up and he's playing with his head up." And look, well, that's what he's supposed to do. That is why, if, if you play with your head down, like, do, I, do, I, you, you know, watch do you just throw it all the big front rowers like he does? Because he just seems fit. Ian Watson must be going, "Whoa, no, no, no don't do that." No, but no. he does, doesn't he? he just runs in. Well, yeah. Well, well, at times he gets himself a little bit. Tight around the rookie area. Whether that's a little bit frustrating, this sort of thing, I don't really know. But but overall, he's uh, well, he's a leader, isn't he? And uh, the way he's going, hmm. What, it's, what uh, I liked about it's going to be very interesting for uh, for Casper and Newton Truman as well. It's, it's going to be a good experience by playing against him on Thursday night. The thing about um, Wigan is they they clearly are one of these teams that meticulously do their homework on the opposition. And although we had a very good game and made a lot of meters. Josh Jones wasn't as effective because he was double teamed. Yeah. So every time he got the ball, they knew he was going to come back inside, and Wigan made sure that yeah. you couldn't fault him for his work rate. Right? No, and the number of but carries, he never really but he like never made a clean break yeah, like he has done most of the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <coughs> Salford found a way of saying, right, well, if that avenue's closed, yeah. we'll find another one. And that's why I think Hastings is such a good player. I thought mm. he was. I thought the second, the other second, was George Griffin was sensational. Mm. I did. I thought. I thought he was excellent. But, but also as well, I, I didn't really know this, and, and it was mentioned on the telly the other night. And when you look at all the Salford players, this this is the side that nobody else wanted. Yeah. You, you look at this side. Yeah, it is. All the teams it where they could, nobody right. else wanted, and so again, I think he, the the uh, the plaudits what the coach Ian Watson has got to say, not just for for his coaching point of view, but again, his man management. By the way, he gets he gets a tune out of his players from there, and it's absolutely staggering when you look at this Salford side, another Super League side, and other clubs. You know, with, with the Championship, didn't even want these players. And they're going to have to do it again next year because they're signing people like yeah, Kevin Brown. Yeah, some players. Yeah, they're signing these players. Yeah. All right, they're losing the best player in Super League in Jackson Mason. And one, one, one of the players. other best ones in Josh Jones as well. I think yeah. he, he has been really good. Is he going to Hull? Yeah, yeah, George Griffin's going to Castle. Right, okay. Right. So the guys that you're picking out as being their best players are the ones that won't be there next. Bibby's going to. But when I look at that, then with Josh Jones on a point with the way the Hull are playing, that could be a backward move for him because how he's going to shine in that side? Because there's no creativity there from the halfbacks. They don't, they don't play They don't play the wide second rows by trying to put them through the gaps because they can't do it. Mm. Be interesting season well, we'll for Josh see. Jones, yeah, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, we'll But we'll Salford, see. sensational. Absolutely. But we'll give it again to Wigan. And I think we've said it now for the last six or seven weeks, it's going to be a Saints Wigan. Grand, grand final from there, and it's just in their DNA, isn't it? You know, you've got to applaud what they do. And got to, whether, whether it's attractive or whether it's not, but it's that DNA, what they have, that scramble, what they have for each other. And all Lachlan again when he comes on, he's just a warrior. He just, he just steadies everything, doesn't he? Him and yeah. Lulua, brilliant. Who again, brilliant. Must have cut at least three Salford players in half. Mm. And they won the Academy Grand Final again. Yes, they did. Again. They did. Well done. 
production line of players that can just oh, right mate, in the team. You know, when you mentioned <laughs> Smilly, they just got such good talent. So why doesn't um, everyone else copy Wigan? Oh, uh, can I ask a question? Why yeah. didn't Gildar get in the Super League Dream Team? Because it's picked by him and his mates. Gildar is. He's a threat. He's For a me, he's such a good. I like him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, There's not dancing. many people could have scored that try. He well, he'd already scored it before he received the ball. Yeah. His footwork was so good that before it landed in his hands, Chris Wallen was going, I've no idea where this bloke is. Yeah. It's anti Wigan, pro Leeds bias by the Man of Steel fan. Oh, no, I need to pick Common. I need to pick Common Hill. My sense is one, the Guava and Percival. So. I told you what my team was last week. Pro Saints bias. So. Oh, yeah, I got I got slagged off to hell. That was I had too many Saints players. Hold on, they just won the league. They just won the title by sixteen points, and too many Saints players. You lost three yeah. games, and two of those out of yeah. the, team, the team you picked didn't play probably. So <laughs> they've, only, they've lost one game. Oh, don't, don't start that debate. Oh, he's uh, it's he due back this week. The head shaker as well for Wigan this week. Uh, uh, yes. Well, well what did we make of that? Um, one, one game ago. There was sorry. a penalty awarded by Robert Hicks for I think it was actually Gildar who patted someone on the head. Um, I like to see it great, get rid of it, but I understand it happened the other way and it did. So again, if you're going to do it for one, you've got to do it for all. That's not an anti-Wigan thing. It's, it's, it's a bit it's pedantic. I don't yeah. like it. Leon, do it. Well, do you know, do you know so it's sporting. So Call, give, well, give him a bit of dinner. Well, give him do, some abuse verbally, but don't. Do you know, well, yeah, but do, do, you know, do you know how that stops? By the court saying to the player, don't, do, don't be doing this else you're going to get fined. Simple well, as that. It'll get quite quickly. Quick, it'll stop. Yeah. If in a big game you do it and like happened, they would have had the ball <laughs> yeah, attacking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they would have defended. That's the ball. why I think a penalty is so important because in a game that is close and possession based, if your teammates are looking at you, then what the hell have you just done? Yeah, exactly. You put yeah. us under pressure. Yeah, it needs to stop. Of course it does. That's the way. Absolutely, it's not part of the game. That's, That's not part of the game. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's it's not. And I, I, again, I thought Robert Hicks. Because really I tell really you, if if it keeps happening. Sunday, Sunday next, day, Sunday the next morning, we'll be getting the tea put back in because Sunday will just lose it and they'll flatten them. Simple as that. Yeah, no, well, you're not the only professional that said that to me. Of course, will, there will yeah. be. There will be because you don't want to be belittled on the rugby league field. It's bad enough that it is if somebody lines you up and smashes you and all this sort of thing, failing one of you. But there's nothing worse. Nothing worse than being belittled as a sportsman. I can reassure you. Mm-hmm. And if it, and it happens, somebody, somebody just go, oh, I'm not to it. But if, if I will get four matches, I might as well do it properly. And he'll be getting 16 put back in his job the next day. And he'll deserve it as well if he does it. Mm. Well, see.